we'll just leave it on there. What's going on guys? Cinematic and hopefully this audio turns out okay. I'm trying to figure out how to record this game correctly. I'm using LOL Replay, but then I tried to open broadcasting system to capture the mp4 file but then I can't drop that into Vegas 30 seconds until and the edit it. So I'm trying out my XSplit local recording at the highest quality to see if that will work and I do not know why they keep saying attempting to reconnect or whatever reconnect um but anyways we're not here to talk about the game hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay I'm playing against bots I'm just gonna state that right off the bat um it's whatever, I get a quadra kill at the very end, and that's pretty much all I can tell you. I suck at the game. But uh, what I'm going to talk about is Minions some spawned. stuff that had happened a couple days ago. So, alright. Basically, a few days ago, I woke up to somebody banging on my window. And this kind of startled me. So I jumped up and I realized my front door is sitting open. And I proceed to go out the front door and see my son curled up in a ball in the front yard by the fence. And a guy out there yelling that the dog is attacking him. So I get out there, my son gets up, and my little dog, I have, a, I have an 18 pound dog, 20 pound dog, and then I have two pit bulls that weigh about 50, 60 pounds, 70 pounds a piece. So basically what happened was, uh, my son took the dogs out, my dogs, uh, got into a fight, and my son tried to break it up and ended up laying on top of my small dog to basically save its life, because, well, uh, it was pretty bad. I mean, he got grabbed up by the neck and, uh, had a bunch of lacerations on his neck, his feet, where he was, uh, getting bit on the legs, I guess. And, um, yeah, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I, I, honestly, I'm going to tell you guys the honest truth. Uh, yes, I am a grown-ass man, but as soon as it all set in and I seen it, you know, my son got five stitches on his finger. It, 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 really, if you looked at it, it wasn't, didn't look that bad, but it gave him five stitches on his finger. He had a cut, and it was because of the depth of the cut, not because of the real big cut. And it was because he was smacking the dog away, and you know, dogs have sharp teeth, and the dog didn't necessarily bite him, bite him, but his uh, teeth got on him, and cut him open. My son had blood on his face, so at first I thought he took my son in the face too, but he didn't, just to see him. And from where he was laying on top of my smaller dog, he had blood on his side, and the side of his leg, and it really freaked me out. And like I said, I'm a grown ass man, but I automatically really broke down in tears because I thought my son was hurt, I thought my dog was gonna die, and I completely flipped out and called Animal Control to help me come get my other dog. And they ended up coming to get both of my pillows. And uh, then I took my dog, my little dog, to the vet. I'm, I'm, I just, uh, most of you guys know, I just got a job. Oh, uh, let me turn this thing. <laughs> I just recently got a job again, and uh, I went almost a month without one, and that kind of put a hurt on my financial situation. So then basically the money that we had for the water bill, which we were already going to be late on the cable bill, but the money that we had for the past due water bill was last month, this month, which was $170, so most of that's gone. We had to go pay $200 to the bed to make sure that my little dog Basil lived. And then we realized that, you know, we know how the animal control in the town and the main society. Most of you guys I think know how they work. If you don't, basically if they take your animal or if they find an animal on the street, they will take it in, they will quarantine it for days, they will sometimes put them up for adoption. And then they pretty much put a time limit on it. Like, if your dog doesn't get adopted in a certain amount of time, they put it to sleep. They kill it. Um, sometimes they get a dog and they automatically think this dog could be a threat or this dog doesn't look in good health. And they just pretty much automatically. Or they wait the 10 days in the quarantine 
and then decide that they don't. Yeah, I make some dumb decisions in this game. Yes, he's got a little bit of uh, either way, if they can't find someone to adopt, they, they put it to sleep. So, me and my wife, we started thinking like, we gotta go get our dogs, and we called them up and we said, you know, you're gonna have to like, they wouldn't release the dogs. They said you're gonna have to leave them clean for ten days. And then they said it's actually a good idea because you know you have your hurt dog at home and you don't want to bring them back in the house while he's hurt and sore and you know irritable. So you know we thought okay and then we went down there and we were like what do we have to do when we come to get the dog? And it's uh, Sugar and Sabu, it's the two pit bulls and they said that we would have to pay $55 a dog for the quarantine. An enemy has been slain. And we were like a okay that's $110 and then they said are your dogs registered? Which they're not. So they said, oh, we're sorry, that's an extra $45 a dog. So that puts it at $200. And then they said, we also noticed that your dogs aren't spayed or neutered. That usually cost, I think, $150 to $200 per dog. But we're going to sell you a voucher to get it done at the Humane Society for $40 a dog. So therefore, you have to come get your dog. You have 10 days to do it. And it's going to cost you 280 bucks. And pretty much they said that if they didn't get the 280 bucks, that both dogs would be euthanized because basically because they're pit bulls. And a lot of people don't go to the pound to get pit bulls because you know so many people think that pit bulls are violent animals. And, and honestly, let me go back and explain exactly what happened. So here's what you know, like we have to basically make some changes at home. But all right. My little dog Basil is a boy. Both of the pit bulls are girls. Once every few months, and I'm pretty sure them not being spayed or whatever you call it, neutered, whatever it is, that it has a lot to do with it. People that have uh, female dogs, and when they go in heat, a lot of people will say their dogs are aggressive and irritable, and sometimes will do things like you know, lash out, snap at you. Um, she usually doesn't do that to us, but there's been a problem since about the end of the time that she has attacked Basil. And it's, the problem is this. Basil was a boy. He's had the longest. He's stubborn. He's hard-headed. He's irritable. He, uh, if you do something he doesn't like, he'll growl at you. He doesn't snap at you or anything like that at people. At least. But, but he'll growl at you. He'll growl at people. And what he does is... He gets it in his head that he's going to not attack the bigger dog, but try to show that he's the boss type of thing. You know, where they growl and they get up in your face. And usually, I'm not saying that this happens every time, but usually there's something in there that either he is causing the fight, or one time it happened when they were trying to eat their food. She was eating, she came up and tried to eat, and when I came they're fighting, I don't know how to growl at her. But whatever but um you know once or twice this has happened as far as we know she is the one that started it and then a few times he started it but the problem is, is that he is a 20 something like 18 to 20 pound dog and she is you know three or four times the size of him so you know that's uh what i'm gonna have to figure out like but here's the thing you know, my mother, and it's like, this is my one of My mother went off on me on the phone and said, get rid of those dogs. And I said, they're going to put them to sleep. And she said, who cares? Put them dogs to sleep. They're, they're uh, you know, they bit your son. They, they're trying to kill the little dog. And this and that. And I can kind of understand what she's coming from. But here is my wild. All right. If your brother or sister or mother or father killed someone or tried to kill someone would you think kill that motherfucker put him to sleep to get rid of him uh, I don't think you would a lot of people say that kind of stuff but honestly when it comes to someone in your family one of your mothers I consider my dog and I, my children basically like my other children um, yeah you want to be harsh about it you to say oh it's okay you attack the other dog uh, I still love you. It's, it's okay. Uh, you do want to punish them. You do want them to know that they did wrong. But you don't want to say, Oh, you attacked the other dog. You almost killed him. Now you're going to get killed, basically. I mean, 
if you do something like that, you're a heartless person. Like, to me, anyone who says, you know what, I just don't want my dog anymore, I'm going to send him to get killed, or my dog is mean, I'm going to send him to get killed, or he attacked another dog, I'm going to send him to get killed, any of those things, to me, you would have to be a heartless person. Now, I can understand if your dog was very old, very sick, and was really, really suffering, someone saying, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put him to sleep because I don't think that he's enjoying life. That, to me, may be acceptable, but <clears throat> I, just can't see, uh, I just can't see my dogs getting put to sleep. And honestly, I did not know how I was going to come up with that money. Um, so that. <coughs> uh, I tweeted out that you know, I gotta figure out how to come up with this money dollars in the argument show. And I just tweeted it out kind of just because I haven't been posting videos. And I was gonna post this video, but hadn't got around to it. So I just kind of let, wanted to let everybody know, like, the situation I was going through. And uh, luckily, you know, like I said, I just started this job. I was gonna try to scrape up the money. I'm behind on all my bills and shit, but. Uh, <coughs> One of uh, one of my subscribers, my proper one of my longest subscribers, the most likes, is you know, today. I uh, started and pretty much tells me I'm not like, you know, I don't want to see your dog get killed. I know you're you know, asleep right now, so I'm gonna you know help you out a little bit and you can pay you back later. So honestly, if that would happen, I don't know what I'd be doing right now other than working. On Figure out my uh, some people would say, why are you playing video games when you should be worried about that? And, you know, the thing with that is, that's why I started playing video games, like, take my mind off of things. Uh, I, I, I can't really, you know, do anything to make money other than go to work, and I gotta, you know, work with their schedule. I mean, I'm trying to pick up shifts and things like that, uh, but they won't really let me pick up shifts just yet because I just started, and, uh, they, uh, you know, they want to make me serve the shifts I'm scheduled for about a week or so. Shifts, but regardless, now, uh, now I definitely be able to get my dogs. I was pretty scared that I wasn't going to be able to. Uh, but yeah, so, so thanks to Jimbo for that. Other things, other things. Uh, sorry, I kind of got a little choked up there. Uh, so yeah, so I started the job, let's see, my son's okay, now another problem is, uh, with the cable getting shut off, the water getting shut off, and the dog situation, and then taking my dog to the vet, I had got all my son's birthday uh, presents out of the way, his birthday's not going to be, but, you know, I'm not going to be able to do the birthday party that I wanted, so, so I asked him, he said it was okay, to make sure that everything gets done, if we postpone his birthday party, for about a week or two, just so I can do it right. Um, we're gonna give him his cake, still give him his presents on his birthday and things like that. An enemy uh, has been slain. With that. You know, I already asked him. I already asked him if he wanted me to you know, get rid of his dog. He said no. You know, he, he's the one that got you know hurt out of the ordeal. I've been cut open a few times by the dogs breaking them up, but what it comes down to slain. is this guys like you know for the most part our dogs are fine together. They don't fight every week, every day, or anything like that. It's usually it's been like, you know, once every two or three months it's happened. And uh, we're basically going to have to break down and figure out what situations it's happened in. And kind of take it from there. Like, we know the food thing's been an issue. Taking them outside's been an issue. Those are the main things. So, so the first thing we're going to have to do when we get the dogs back is keep an eye on them, for one. For two, uh, Basil, the small dog, he will now go outside through the back door and the other two dogs will go outside through the front door because if they get to the fight they're both pit bulls they're not going to kill each other they're not going to hurt each other um, and I can break them up easier because uh, ba basically basically my small dog when she gets a hold of his neck he's so little I can't grab a bolt and rip him apart you know what I mean because if I grab if I grab my finger she'll lift him up off the ground because he doesn't weigh nothing so but the other two dogs should be fine, so we're going to have to let them out separate. Uh, I no longer will be able to leave my son at home with the dog. Uh, I, I will, but I won't. Basically, uh, if everybody leaves the house, or if, you know, me and my wife leave the house, my son home, 
or anything like that. What I think we're going to do now is we're going to put uh, the aggressive dog, Sugar, we're going to put her in the garage by herself. That way she can't attack anybody while we're gone. And the other people we haven't had any problems with. So basically, if we leave the house, that'll be her, not punishment, but you know, that'll just be her place to be at because, you know, she's lost her privilege of staying in the house all the time. So yeah, basically when we leave the house, we will have to put her outside the garage to keep her, the dog is safe. But you know what the funny thing is, they've never gotten a fight ever when we left the house. Never. Um, the biggest thing though is like I said, we have to just figure out a way. If nothing else, we might eventually get rid of one of the dogs. Uh, I don't want to, but if it comes to that, it will happen. Uh, because Basil is like my baby, I've had this. It's literally like another one of my children. The other ones are too, but I mean, it's a special thing. You know what I mean? It's like your first, first child. What you mean? Not my first child, but you know what I mean. It's that kind of feeling, and uh, I don't want to see him suffer anymore. Like, so, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff I gotta change around in my house. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep going on about this, but I'm gonna make some other things. Like, uh, for one, you know, I'm telling you guys this, I'm not like, oh, pity me type of thing. I'm just letting you guys know some stuff that's happening. And I do want to point out, like, people will say, you know, you got to roll with the punches. You know, there's going to be ups and downs. Life's going to throw you curveballs. Everything's going to get better, this and that, yada, yada, yada. All of these things are true. <clears throat> I just want to let everybody know that, especially the younger guys, that you're going to run into uh, a lot of slumps in your life. Unless you're rich or fairly well off, you're going to run into some pitfalls and some slumps. I just want to say, you know, don't get yourself down over it. Yeah, it sucks. We're going to have to, like, do some things. I'm not going to say that I'm good at this. I'm still working on it, but one thing, advice-wise, I would tell you is, when something bad happens, automatically start with how you're going to fix it. Don't let it sit there and well Don't let it get you depressed and down and like to a point where you know, start questioning yourself like automatically say this is wrong i gotta fix this blah, 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 and this is how i'm gonna do it because if you don't start it's gonna get deeper and deeper now and if you can't fix it yourself you know like i said i was really really lucky that jimbo came to the house this time but you know Everybody's got parents, you got aunts, uncles. You know, I really don't, I honestly don't even have a mother, uh, a few sisters and brothers, but you know, my mother doesn't have money, my brothers, they're not really the type that are going to help me out, but, but most of you guys have somebody that's going to help you out in times of need. You just need to make sure that you pay those people back, help them back out, and that way, you know, later down the road, they can say, I helped you last time. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, you are going to have problems throughout your life that you're going to need help with the soul. Make sure that you don't, you know, just take, 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 and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, go back to the pet situation, so that's another thing I have to figure out. I live in a small house right now. We have a basement. This is where all my computer stuff's in the basement because it won't fit upstairs right now. The basement floods though, so I don't want to bring the animals down here. Uh, the basement needs a little work done to it. Um, her mother bought two ducks and two chickens. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I read online and stuff. We didn't want the ducks and chickens. Her mother brought them, dropped them off. And I went and read online. And they said that, you know, the ducks and chickens should go together. And they'll keep each other happy, yada, yada, yada. And not even a week into having them, we had to leave for about two hours. And we came home. And the ducks had trampled Rampage. the chickens, and the chickens are now gone. Um, we have found out that the ducks are very, very filthy animals. They shit everywhere. They are sloppy with their food. They splatter their water all over the place. So then the food gets nasty. You know, it's, <coughs> we, we we live in a city. We can't have the ducks outside. So right now they're in a big ass aquarium, and we're gonna have to get rid of them. I just gotta find a good place to put that somebody's gonna take care of them. I don't want somebody's gonna eat them or anything like that, because they are like peeking ducks, I think. 
Uh, we have the four turtles. I've told my son uh, that if we have them, then it's, that's it. You no know, turtles. Turtles are filthy animals. All they do is swim around in the water and eat up food. You know what I mean? And they shit everywhere. So, not really a good pet to have. I mean, honestly, what do you do with them? You can't really do shit with them. So, yeah, so we have too many animals. We have two ducks, two ducks, and four turtles right now. And we did have two An ally has been slain. Gone. Um, so I had to talk to my family and I told them no more animals, period. You know, when the dogs die from old age, when the turtles die from old age, when the turtles die, there will be no more animals. Uh, I love animals to death, but they are a financial burden, they are a uh, time burden, as in you know, you can't find the dog sitters, turtle sitters and shit, you know. So that's just some advice to you guys that are getting out on your own. Be careful with the pet you guys you get. Yeah, it might be cool having a pet turtle when you're living at home with your mother and your father and they're paying for all the shit to take care of it. And all you gotta do is come home and look at it, you know what I mean? But when you get out of here, all those animals will become a bird. You can't go out and spend the weekend in another city without going to somebody watching it. You can't do all that shit. Just a word of advice, and I'm not even looking at this game, so I'm, I'm thinking it looks like it says it's almost three fourths over on this. I think that's what this little yellow bar is and the play thing. I probably just stopped talking when it's over, so I'm just gonna say if you do enjoy the conversation or whatever, leave me some comments. Definitely, uh, definitely let me know what you think about League of Legends gameplay. What I need to do to bring these videos to you. It's very long. This one I actually chose because. I wanted to talk for a long time, but I'm not always going to want to make them real long, so if I need to edit them down somehow or something, you know, or if you watch League and you and you know what you want to see from League, you know, just let me know what type of thing. Definitely leave me a like on this dude, I have, I have, I have not posted him like because of all this stuff going on. I'm not going to post him because I can get a new job. Financially, you know, stressed out, a lot of real life stuff going on in the dog situation, my son's birthday is coming up. So that's really, for anybody who wondered, that's why I kind of stepped back and stopped worrying about posting videos for about a week or two. Because I just had to get everything else situated. And I mean, I still don't have it situated, but I am going to get back to videos. I've freed up enough time to do it. Um, what else can we talk about? Well, the video was before, but I'm going to say, you know, like I told you, when I, my mom started talking crazy about me, but she made me so mad. Like, I really need to, like... Cause she was like all angry, like get rid of them dogs. Like I really wish that was so stuck in between two turrets here. I don't know. Um, a little bit. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I thought I just made a really stupid move. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, but have your parents or anything ever made you dad mad? Like, you know, like, I just fuck, fuck, fuck. like, I really wanted to be like dad, but I didn't. I have a I said, I'm done talking by. Back to one more thing I'll point out real quick. I, I am still going to play Call of Duty. I am still going to play it soon. The last few times I had played it, I did not get a gameplay. So that's why you're not seeing Call of Duty videos up anymore. Uh, if I get a gameplay, I will post the code. If I play commentary, if I don't get a gameplay, I will post the code. Look, I, I could have killed her. Oh, I thought that was it. Hold on, it's coming up. It's coming up. Wrapping up this video, guys. Hopefully, like I said, you guys enjoyed the commentary. Like, uh, leave me some comments, definitely. For any questions or anything like that you have, or any uh, advice about this game or anything. That you'd like Your to see team has destroyed an I'm getting ready to get a quadra kill for it. Uh, I have not gotten that against people. I've been having a lot of like, I've been kind of strong. Look at all these kills I'm missing out on. Oh, I I've been a lot. I do not like to higher level. Like right now, if I'm playing 
so many times that they're coming becoming more predictable people are always going to be unpredictable and if you don't play this game dominating if you're still watching this video and you do not play this game Double and you're looking at the game saying ah uh, i don't know if i like it i play call of duty i'm a first person shooter which that's what i am halo call of duty main two games i've been playing for a few years now uh when I was a kid, I played RPGs, though. This reminds me of a slash between a shooter and an RPG um, game. I don't even know what to really compare it to because I don't really play PC games, but I'm just saying if you haven't played it, try it out. Automatically, you're going to need at least four or five days to get the hang of it. The game takes skill. It does take skill to play. Here we go. Here we go. Now I probably could have got that fifth one, but anyways guys, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hope I didn't ramble too much. And uh if you have any topics or anything you want to talk about or anything like that, let me know. Wow.